Hey Virgos, welcome to your reading for the second half of May. Sorry it isn't my usual setup, you guys know I'm away from home. Um, so I'm just getting the videos out when I can and trying to get the messages out because there's still so much uh, part of me, this channel and getting people their messages when I'm not doing it, even when I'm away from home. It just feels crazy. Um, I feel out of alignment. So I've got to do them when and where I can. So this is what we're working with today. If you're new, of course, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month to my lovely loyal subscribers. Welcome back. As always, I'll leave information regarding what decks of cards I use and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. Obstacles jumping out here. Um, second half of may i'm not surprised uh a lot of people will find these challenges and obstacles that are happening we have a lunar eclipse we have mercury going retrograde we have saturn retrograde that wants us to take the right direction doing things right so if we're finding obstacles in our way it may be telling you to redirect before a tower happens so if you're going after something and it's like oh it's a bit hard that way um maybe it's trying to redirect you to an easier route um, but Saturn does, you know, it's a parent planet here. It does want us to clean up um, anything that we have been avoiding. So you could, for example, be wanting to move on from somebody and not wanting to sort it out. Just like, you know, some people ghost and you can be like, well, I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to deal with them. And you might find that this person is sort of dumped in front of you and you have to speak to them Um so cross watchers if you're expecting um you know to hear from a virgo it might be that they're redirected towards you even if they don't want to be let's see young females who so could be dealing with somebody younger than you here it doesn't have to be um but it could be family okay so it might be a lot of family situations that are happening with you guys as well ice queen i feel like not only um are you trying to maybe avoid romantic partners it might be that you're trying to avoid family situations as well you could have a lot going on there that sort of um you know cause problems in your relationship maybe not all third parties are um you know another romantic partner they can be family and children or parents getting in the way but it seems like you're going to have to face these obstacles and i say that because here look look at the ice queen she's sort of turned her back to these obstacles here and i feel like the divine's now going to say mm -mm -mm, we've done that long enough we've done that long enough you've learned all you can by avoiding this now we have to face it right so i feel like it's going to be dumped in front of your face like this um so it may show up like tower moments or like mini tower moments until you face this if we are trying to avoid I've put them back down where she's facing the obstacle where initially the obstacle was behind her so it was it is something coming from the past here that you may have to um face right now that you've been trying to avoid maybe because you're feeling good and you feel like I'm past it I'm over it I don't really care about it well it's coming back around <laughs> truth and that is because like i say dreaded mercury is going retrograde it's going to bring forth that unfinished business but with saturn there as well saturn's the like the father planet it's really like you're dealing with this clean your room you're going to deal with this it's now right so there's no avoiding it the truth will be um revealed to you here so it will be like um if you've been ignoring something it will be blatant now there's no avoiding this truth now okay um it's time to take care of this unfinished business and time to face the truth um it might be that you feel like i've, I've tried to face somebody and they didn't want to talk to me they ghosted me and um now that person has obstacles thrown in front of their face and you know you walk down that way there's roadworks and then you both like turn and end up on the same street uh, it's like that sort of thing where it's going to be directly in your face that we can't hide this anymore intuition your intuition has been trying to guide you um to look at this obstacle so it might be like trusting that little niggle that's in you that's saying um you know i have to sort that out i have to sort that out really listen to it at the second half of may because that's what's the divine wants here these are major arcana, arcana 
that uh, intuition card, that's the high priestess in the normal deck. And the hermit. So we have two hermits in um, this deck and this one is spiritual strength. Um, so it's saying, look, you've grown as much as you can in the situation you have. So let's say, you know, you went through a breakup and then you hurt a little bit, you recovered, uh, not a little bit, but I'm just trying to be quick for the video and you recovered and stayed away from that person. As long as I don't see them, I'll be fine. Well, that's not healed, is it? So now we have to see them. Now we have to face them. And now we have to realize that this is still an obstacle in our life. I often get a lot of people saying, I can't stand my ex. I don't want somebody from my past. Let me tell you something. If you've got that much energy behind it, it's unfinished business. That's just an easy way to look at it there. And I just say to people, you know, do you because it's really none of my business i'm just the messenger you know um whatever is happening in your life is we have free will you can choose what you want to um take notice of and what you don't right but it'll eventually come to the point where it's in front of your face and we can't ignore it anymore so just like those people who may ghost us in a relationship it'll, it'll eventually come back around where we meet and there's no avoiding it, right? You know, when people are like, oh, I bumped into my ex and I looked the worst or I looked the best and whatever. Um, that sort of thing will happen here. So you'll gain, you have sort of the upper hand here, I feel, Virgo. Um, maybe because you're the one who did the spiritual work. It's saying you have the spiritual strength here and you sort of have the backing and the support of the universe. So I definitely want you guys to face whatever it is that your intuition is telling you you need to face queen of cups another card for intuition um could be a mother here because we have family card as well so it could be things going on um in your family life uh, that need your attention but i feel like it's just your intuition right now is on fire that you're showing up as the queen of cups here you could be overly giving in love as well that's the queen of cups energy she gives a little bit too much, right? Um, you know, maybe even unconditionally. And we're supposed to get to a point where we love unconditionally, but not toxic relationships. We're not supposed to just stay there unconditionally, right? We're supposed to um, see our own worth and love ourselves unconditionally first. And um, this it might be what you've been working on right and then this queen of cups you're still maybe overly giving to people whether they're romantic or in your family um nine of cups here so this is about learning to love yourself uh first and foremost another nine there's about yourself um so i feel like some of you might want even to travel here i just heard that some of you like may want to stay single and travel and um focus on things that you love at the moment here, sort of link long distance or getting on with somebody who you can talk about your interests and your passions with there um, is going to be um, what you want to do at this time. So you may be, it's like Venus has come into Gemini. So you will be wanting to focus on those things that, you know, you love to talk about, maybe even a good book or a good movie or something you love to do here is going to be a great time for you to focus on that but not to ignore um what's happening here what you're feeling what your intuition is telling you eight of wands it's somebody's coming in and you have to talk to each other i, I like i said i i always hear people say i don't want to talk to my ex well, it might be a family member that you have to talk to. It might be your mother that you have to, or father that you have to say, hey, you know, in order to love myself, I've got to let you know you can't keep doing that to me or using me like that, whatever it may be, right? Because this is a general reading. Um, so there is some information coming in. And when uh, we've dealt with this thing, whatever it is for you, it is a general reading, these obstacles will be removed. That's the eight of wands. Um, we will be removed, uh, removing those obstacles, I hear. Um, so your angels, your guides are trying to remove these obstacles if 
you can face this truth. Ace of Swords, the truth. The truth shall set you free. It may even be the truth that, let's say, somebody isn't coming back from your past. Maybe that's the obstacle that's stopping you moving forward on this path. You'll know individually what it is to you, right? Um, so there's sort of like this breakthrough moment. This, aha, I get it. I finally see clearly. And you're able to free yourself from this obstacle. Because I'm feeling like somebody's stuck to this obstacle and can't go around it, can't go, you know, through it, under it, over it. And you've sort of tied yourself to it. Um, so the truth shall set you free here. Prince of Wands. And then we have this person rushing in towards you here. The truth might be that they haven't changed. That may be the truth. I just want you guys to know that that might be the truth, that they haven't changed. Um, because this is still quite a low vibrational energy in a love read, in a career read. This would be, say, act now. Okay, so this is somebody who's just going to act and come towards you. And um, when Mercury is retrograde, we know... They rush in with this Knight of Wands energy and they rush out just as quickly, right? Ace of Pentacles. What you want and what they're offering, I think, is out of their league. Look at this. This Knight of Wands, this Ace of Pentacles is behind him. So it's kind of like out of his league here. It's like too much, it's too big of an offer, her or him. It's too big of something that they don't have that ability to offer you that what you actually deserve. Queen of Pentacles, look what you deserve. Look at the size of the Queen's Pentacle. Look what you deserve because you know how much you give. So you have this Pentacle to offer. But if you make the offer their backs to it so it doesn't look like they want to receive your offer but that's because what you have to offer is too big and they they can't compare at this time maybe that's the truth that you know you're too much for them and they ain't enough for you the more you hold on to that the more you hold yourself back holding on to somebody five of pentacles the more you hold on to this, the more you sort of suffer. It's kind of hard because you've been through this healing and the truth and this ascending, but you're still overly giving in love. Um, so you end up out in the cold again, because when they come in with this Prince of Wands energy, they leave just as quickly with the Prince of Wands energy. So it's like they could come in, date you for a year. When it gets serious, they're, they're gone. Hanged man. Then it becomes another wake up call. Then it becomes another lesson. This relationship becomes a lesson instead of a blessing, right? So if we're just meeting somebody here, okay, have healthy boundaries, love yourself unconditionally first. First and foremost, right? If I asked you, who do you love? Where would you list yourself? You probably like, I love my kids, I love my family, I love this, I love my job. You know, some people be like, I love my job before themselves, right? So this could turn into another wake up call for you because you're not seeing things from the correct perspective here. You're seeing the obstacle and you're like, how do I get rid of this obstacle between me and this person? Maybe the obstacle's there for a reason to save you. And we have the Knight of Wands and this is somebody else rushing towards you here. This is somebody, um, I guess they're trying to be honourable. They're trying to live their truth here, but they're still not on the same sort of level as you are, Virgo. Hmm. Let me clarify that because this person, there's still, there's somebody else coming towards you here as well. The waiting game. 
Six of Cups. Now you guys know why I don't show my face because my face does, my face speaks for me like, <laughs> my face speaks for me. Love begins. Six of Cups and Ace of Cups. Been a waiting game, hasn't it? If you've been waiting for this person and they still haven't woke up, then I guess the truth would be you would have to lower your vibration to a Knight of Swords energy, which would mean you're being quite reckless against yourself and you may end up out in the cold again. So, the love begins. I guess we'll have to wait till June or till you guys tell me who you're falling in love with here. Um, good luck, guys. <laughs>